started from we were studying um, the methods of finding the square roots of any number. So, sir, what are the two methods of finding the square roots of a number? Ma'am, prime factorization and repeated subtraction, and we have also division. Okay, we have prime factorization, um, repeated subtraction, and division. Okay, so what is the? Can you please explain me all these methods? First, explain me prime factorization. Now, prime factorization is basically when you have that number, we have to take the, uh, we have to prime factorization, uh, we have to take it uh, until zero, and when we get the numbers, if they have a pair, we have to pair it, and then we have to multiply it. If they don't have a pair. Yeah. Then you have to multiply the number which doesn't have a pair. Okay, Aspen. Now, if I ask you a question like, um, uh, I have been given a number which is not a perfect square, and you have to convert the number into a perfect square number by multiplying or dividing any number. So, what are you going to do? And first, take prime factorization. Then, of course, since it's not a perfect square, uh, there will be a number that does not have a pair. And um, yeah, mute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Of course, there, of course, there will be a number that does not have a pair. So we have to multiply with that number. Okay. Um. Can and I the number. Divide? What now? Can I also divide uh the factors with that number? Yes, ma'am. At certain times. Yeah. So it's true for both the cases. We can divide as well as multiply. Okay. And how do we find the square root by um multiple subtraction? Now by repeated subtraction, we have to subtract the number with consecutive odd numbers. Okay. And then what is my answer? What is my answer? Like how will I find the answer? What am I going to do? Now, when we subtract with consecutive odd numbers and if we get zero at the end, then that number is perfect square. Or if we get a, a negative number, then it's not a perfect square. Okay. Then finally, we studied the method of division, right? So we'll yeah. practice a few questions based on this method, first of all, and then we'll uh, move probably today our chapter will should be completed. We just have one topic left, which is the method of okay. uh, which is the method of finding the scope. We'll be studying some more properties relating to the division method, okay? So first of all, let's okay. practice. Okay, question. I will give you. Define the square root of. Do you have to find the least number? That must be subtracted. From five six zero seven, so as to get a perfect square. Also, find the square root of the number. Now see Asra, um, previously I taught you two types of questions that find the least number by which the given number is to be multiplied or it is to be divided. But now I'm asking you to subtract any number from it. That means you cannot follow the previous methods, you cannot follow the method of uh, prime factorization, right? Um, because in prime factorization we can't subtract. Yeah, we can't subtract. So what are you going to do? Do you have any solution in your mind for this? Um, I guess we can do division. Let's do the long division method. Okay, so 5607. What will be the pairs as well? 56 and 7. Okay, so it's 0, 7 and 56. So what will I write over here? Have 2. How come as one 2? I have 56. So I have to find a perfect square number uh, which is either Lower than 56 or equal to it's 56 a perfect square? Uh, no, ma'am. Then which number is a perfect square? Less or less? 49. Very good. 
it's 49. So you'll write 7 into 7 equals 49. You subtract what will you get? And 7. And 0 over here. Then you will carry 0 and 7 together. You will double 7. You will get 14. You have to write a number over here. Tell me. Okay. Uh, the units place should be 7. So what should you write over here? Ma'am, the ending number should be 7 of the square. Okay, now Aswan, tell me, uh, can I, if this was a perfect square, so, let's wait, Ammar is also joining. Ammar, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, please put on your camera. Now, Amar, you missed the previous session. Um, did you ask for any recording or something? Do you know what all we studied in the previous class? Uh, yes, ma'am. We did ask for recording. So, have you watched that recording? No, ma'am. I couldn't watch it. Amar, uh, you should have watched that recording before coming to the session because... We've already studied a lot in the previous session. We studied the division method. Okay, no problem. I'll just explain a question to you and then you will be able to do uh, today's question. Please look here. Aswan, you also look here. It will be your revision. So, Amar, I was telling that uh, in order to find perfect, we were studying square roots. Yeah, we started with square roots in the previous class. So, there are various methods for finding square roots of a number. First of all, we have the repeated subtraction. Do you remember repeated subtraction? Yes, ma'am. What do we do in repeated subtraction? We, uh, we subtract odd numbers. Uh, we subtract odd numbers till we get zero. Yeah, uh, consecutive odd numbers. Then we have the method of prime factorization. What is prime factorization? We find the factors of a particular number and then we make pair out of it. Do you remember that thing? No. Yes. Yeah, you do. Okay, I'll give you an example. Like you have 144. So what you will do? You will just simply uh, do the prime factorization. 2, 7, 32 times, 2, 36 times, 2, 18 times, 2, 9 times, 3, 3 times and 3, 1 times. So what are the factors over here? You have 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. All these are the factors of 144. Right? So you will just make pairs of the factors. Just make a pair. You have 2 occurring twice. Then you have again a 2 occurring twice. Then you have 3 occurring twice. So can you make the pair of all the factors? Yes. Yes, you can. So now just remove uh, this pair from here and just write only once. Okay, just write two only ones. From this pair, we will write only one time. Now write from this pair into two. From this pair, write into three. What will be your answer? Twelve. Yeah, twelve. That means root 144 is equal to twelve. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we also practiced a few questions regarding this. But Amar, you are supposed to watch the video first. And then I'm going to explain you if you have any doubts. Okay. Because we have to move ahead as well. Uh, the last uh, thing, the last method was, I started with the division method. What is the division method? See, now basically, what I could have done, okay, let's take this 144 only. So if I take this 144, first of all, pair the numbers. Pair the numbers starting from back. Like you have 4, so pair 4, you can pair 4 with 4. So you have 44. Then you have 1 left, so just put a bar over 1. Okay, you have like if it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. So you would have paired 47, 23 and 1 would have left. Or if you have 1, 2, 7, 3. So you would have paired 73 and 12. Okay, that is how you pair the numbers. Clear? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you will pair one forty four like forty four and then one. Okay, now Aswan, uh, Amar, you have one over here. Is one a perfect square? No. Light is one into one is one only, so it is a perfect square. One is a perfect. Square. Okay, one is a perfect square. So one is a perfect square. So what is the square root of one? The square root of one is one only. So just put over here. So one into one is equals to one only. Just subtract one, you get zero. Okay. Now you carry this forty-four together. You will carry all the pairs together. So you will have forty-four. Now just double this number. Whatever the number is written over here, double it. So one. When you double one, what do you get? Eleven. One twenty-one. I'm not saying eleven. Double one. One plus one is two. Two. Okay. Um. Okay. So now, Amar, you have to write a number over here, such that you are going to multiply this this whole number with the same number. Like uh, like you write twenty three. So you have to multiply twenty three with three only, and you should get this answer. Okay. So let's do. If I will write three over here, I will multiply with three only, and I will get three, three, nine, three, two, six. Okay, sixty-nine is a greater number, so twenty-three won't work. Okay, let's try for twenty-one. If I will write twenty-one over here in this blank, so I have to multiply with one only. So I will get. Ma'am, it's twenty. Yes, sir. Ma'am, it's twenty-two. Yeah, it's twenty-two. Uh, so twenty one is a smaller number. So let's now try with twenty two. Okay, if I write twenty two over here, what with what will I have to multiply, Amar? Two. Two. So what will I get? Forty four. Forty four is my number, correct? Match. Yes. Yeah. So you have multiplied twenty two with two only. So just write two over here and write forty four times, and you get zero. Do you understand, Amar? Yes, ma'am. So, only your answer is coming over here. The question is only your answer. So, root one forty four is equal to twelve. Okay. Okay. Now, I was teaching Aswan a question. Just look here, Amar. The question says, find the least number that must be subtracted from five six zero seven so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the number. So what you have to do is you have to find the smallest number which you must subtract from five six zero six so that the resulting number is a perfect square. Okay. So what you will do, you will just find, uh, do the um, long division method for five six zero seven, and then you will get such number. See, you wrote. I'll do it again. Root five six zero seven. Okay, what will be the pair thus far? Ma'am, zero seven and fifty. Okay, what about you, Ma'am? Do you think thus far is correct? Ma'am, what will be the pairs? Ah, uh, six. Yeah, uh, no, fifty six and zero uh, seven. Okay. First of you all, you have fifty six. Is fifty six a uh, perfect square? No, ma'am. No, it's not. So, which number lesser than fifty-six is a perfect square? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. So you will write seven into seven comes out equal to forty-nine. You will subtract. What will you get as your answer? Seven. Seven. Then what you will do? You will just carry zero seven. So you have zero seven over here. Then you will just double the seven. You get fourteen. Now you have to write a number over here so that on multiplying this whole number with this number you get a number closer to seven zero seven. So let's try to multiply one four three with three. You get four twenty six. It's a small number. Okay, so I will multiply with five. One forty five with five. You get seven twenty five. Seven twenty five is a bigger number, so you have. Now it's four. four. Yeah, it's four. 
So one four four into four. What did you get? You get five seventy six. You will subtract. You get one over here. You get one over here. Three over here and one over here. Okay, and here it will be four. So what is the remainder? One thirty one. One thirty. Yeah, one thirty one. So now, if you subtract this remainder from this number, this whole number, that means you will get your answer. Let's try to subtract. When we subtract the remainder, see, if I will subtract the remainder, my answer, my remainder shall be zero. Right. If I subtract the remainder from this number, my remainder shall be zero. And if the remainder is zero, I know that it is a perfect square. See, right now it is not a perfect square. So five six zero seven. The subtract the remainder one thirty one. What do you get? Uh, five. Uh, five five three five. Five five three six. You get. Okay, so your answer is five five three six. Clear? There is also one more part to the question. Find the square root of the number. So find the square root of five five three six. I'm so finding the square root of five five three six square root of prime factor. Um, Amar, your answer, your answer is wrong. Wait, how come it will be five five three six? I'm five four seven six. Yeah, it shall be five four seven six because here it is a zero. It will cut this and carry a number. Ma'am, I thought that was six for a sec. No problem. It shall be five four seven six. Now please find the uh, square root of five four seven six. Are you guys able to find the solution? Almost done.
is the answer 74. Okay, we'll check. What about you, Omar? Are you getting any answer? Yes, ma'am. I am doing it. Now, to find the square root of this, we can do division or prime factor. Um, yeah, you can do both, but see, we already practiced a lot of questions by the prime factorization method, so it's better that we now practice questions through the division method. I'll just make no, I, did, I did division method now, it was easy. Yeah, okay, so 5, 4, 7, 6. Please look here. Let's check your answer. So, Amar, what will be the what will be the pairs in this? 5, 4, and 7, 6. Yeah, 76 and 54. So now, is 54 a perfect square? No. 49. 49 is a perfect square. So 49 is a perfect square of 7. So 7 into 7, you will get 49. What will you get of subtraction? Seven, uh, 5. 5. Then you will, what you will do? You will double this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You will get 14. Then you will carry this number 76. Now you have to write a number over here. So that this That's number four. can be divided. 4. Six. Okay. Amar says 4 and Aswan says 6. Let's check for 6 first. What you will get? Okay. Six. You get 876. See Amar? 6. Is such a big number. Just find a small number. No. Let's check for 144. You get 576. Your answer comes out to be 74. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Amma, yes, ma do you understand this? Because you practice, do not practice questions related to these types. Do you understand? Any doubts do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So now we shall move ahead. Now we have. Okay, now if I tell you, like, um, let's consider 5, 4, 7, 6 only. If I just gave you this number and I had asked you uh, that in the square root, on finding the square root of 5, 4, 7, 6, what will be the number of digits in the square root? Okay. I'm not asking what will be the square root. I'm asking what will be the number of digits. So what you can do, you can either divide the entire thing and then write the answer. Like on dividing the entire thing, you got the square root as 74. So how many digits are there in 74? Two digits. Two. So your answer will be two. But now this is a pretty tedious work that you have to divide everything every time. So we have a method for this as well. Like let's consider um, 10,000. So talking about 10,000, tell me that what will be the number of digits in the square root of 10,000 without actually dividing it. So what you can do, see, just make pairs. One pair, two pair, and this is the third bar. Okay, this one is not a pair. But just count the number of bars. You have one plus one. Plus one, you, you have three bars in total. That means the number of digits shall be three. You can actually find it as well. Just a second. Yes, See, the square root of 10,000 is actually 100. Okay. Yes, Did you know? Both of yes, you? Amar, what about you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And how many digits are there in 100? Three only, but without calculating the square root, I could find my answer. How? By the bar method. So if I give you certain questions, will you be both able to do that questions? Yes, sir. Okay. So you have to find the number of the digits in the square roots of the following number without actually division. So first one is 25600. Zero, zero. The second is um, 36. 36864 and now you have 529. Sure. Now how will you do it? Now first pair all the numbers. 
सेकेंड Yeah, tell me your answers. The uh, first pair or the number is three digits. I'm not able to hear your answers. Please. Uh... Not the first one. There are three digits. Three digits. Second okay. one is also three digits. Three only again. Last one, you. My uh, last one two. Okay. Am I last one? Two. Okay, so all your answers are uh, same and correct. Very good because we put a bar something like this. Okay. Okay. Now we shall move ahead to the square roots of decimal numbers. Okay. No. Before that, I will give you one more question. You have to find the greatest four digit number. Which is a perfect square. Okay, you have to find the greatest four-digit number, which is a perfect square. How will you do? First of all, tell me what is the greatest for a uh, four-digit number? Nine nine nine. Very good. Nine 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 nine. Um. So first of all, you need to find is nine 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 a perfect square. How will you find it? No, ma'am, it is not a perfect square. Division method. Yeah, it is not a perfect square. Uh, yes. There is one more method to it. As far as it is run, that directly look at the digit and then see nine 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 is not a perfect square because at last you are getting nine. Yes, ma'am. You know, you get you can get nine in perfect squares. I'm sorry, my mistake. You can get nine in perfect squares. But uh, okay, this thing you already know, but you can check it as well. Just do it by the division method. Um, use the division division right. method to find if nine 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 is a perfect square. Just make pairs. First, make a pair of ninety nine. Then ninety nine again. Please do it yourself, both of you. Now, if you practice questions, you should be able to do this on your own self. No, no, it is not a perfect. Okay, Amar, what is your answer? It is not a perfect square. I'm sorry. It is not a perfect square. Okay, so um, when we will divide it, we will uh, get some remainder, and through which we can easily see that this number is not a perfect square. Now tell me that uh, what if it is not a perfect square? Then which greatest four-digit number will be a perfect square? How will you find the answer? Tell me. What you will do with this nine 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 nine? Ma'am, find the uh, take the pair and find the. So find the lowest the find the nearest uh, perfect square. Yeah, you have to find the nearest perfect square, but how? As for that's my question. But Amar, do you have any idea? No, ma'am. I'll give you a hint to both of you. We just now did a similar question. Try doing something with the remainder. 
think of the remainder. You have a remainder left with you. Subtract the remainder with this number. Yeah, can you do it? What is the remainder? Okay, Aswan, what is your remainder? What is the remainder that you're getting? Amar, what about you? You both didn't do the question previously. Um, I did. You're supposed to do the question when I'm telling you. Tell me what will be the, the answer. Uh, mine was 190. Okay, what about you, Amar? One ninety. Um okay, so different answers. It means we'll have to check. Let's just see. Ma'am, I did, ma I did 189 into What is your answer, Aswan? Now, uh, remind the 190. 190 or 191? 198. 198. And Amar gets 190. Okay, let's check. Um, So, 99 is into perfect square. Which number smaller than 99 is perfect square? Um, 81. Yeah, 81. So, I have 989. So, Amar, please put on your camera. You just double nine, you will get 18. You have to write a number over here. Let's write nine only. Get one seven zero one. Okay. Okay. 
198. From our 198 is the correct answer. Okay. And now, if you subtract 198 from 9999, what do you get? You get 1 and 0 and then 8. So you get 801. That means uh, 80 and sorry, 9 also. Yeah, 9801 is the greatest four digit number, which is a perfect square as well. Okay? okay. Do you understand both of you? Yes, so, ma'am, it has the same thing to do with the different method that we did before. Yeah, it's the same thing, but see, the um, like the way of asking the question is different. Uh, right? okay. um, we can give you one more question. Ma'am? Yeah? Uh, I have a doubt in this question. Yeah, Amar, please ask. Uh, I understand the the digits you were doing that in pairs, like, but I didn't understand the what you were doing outside. Uh, like you were you were dividing some some other numbers. I did not okay. understand. Um, let's redo this. Okay, Amar. And still, if you have doubt, then again ask me. Okay, let's redo it. You have nine 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 nine. You have to do the long division method for this number, okay? Um, so what are you going to do? You will create the uh, pairs, okay? Amar, what will be the pairs? Nine, 99 and 99. Okay, so first you have 99, okay? You're going to, con why am I making pairs? Because you have to consider the pairs together. If I have made the, this pair, I have 99. That means 99 becomes one digit only. That means you have to consider 99 together only. Okay? You cannot consider just 9. I cannot write 3 into 3 is 9. So let's consider 9. No, I will consider 99 only because it comes under the same bar. So if I consider 99, is 99 a perfect square amount? No. No, it isn't. So which number smaller than 99 is a perfect square? Eighty. 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 One. See, uh, just remember the squares. I told you to learn the squares. See, 10 into 10 is 100, greater than 99, and 9 into 9 is 81. So that means 81 is the nearest number, which is the perfect square, right? So what you will do, you will just write 9 into 9. Yeah, it is the square. 81, just write it down here. And 81, what is the square root of 81? It's 9. So just write 9 over here and 1, 9 over here because 9 into 9 is 81. Okay. So you will write 81 over here, 1, 9 over here, or 1, 9 over here. This much is clear? Yes. Okay. Now you're going to subtract 99 and 81. So please subtract. You will get 8 here and 1 here. You get 80. Okay. Now after subtraction, just double this number. Whatever number you have written, just double it. What will be the double of 9? 18. Yeah, so write 18 over here. Okay, now Amar, uh, what I'm going to do is, I will consider carrying the numbers, okay, from this. So I will carry 99 together because I told you that you always have to consider the numbers under the same bar as together only, okay. So when I will carry 9, this 9, I also have to carry this 9. Why? Because they are under the same bar. So I will carry 99. This much clear? Yes. Okay. Now listen, Amar. What I am going to do? My next step shall be, I shall not consider 118. I will not say 18 into something should come as 1899. No. I shall write some number in front of 18. And I shall multiply uh, this this whole this shall become three digit number now. I shall multiply this whole three digit number with the same number what I'm writing away. Like if I write one, so I have to multiply with one only. I'll get I'll get one eighty one only. See, I should get a write a number over here such that I get my answer nearer to this number one eight nine nine. Okay. See, if I write one over here, I'll have to multiply with one, and I will get one eighty one. One eighty one is a pretty smaller number. So let's consider some bigger number. Let's try to write 187. Okay, so with what will I multiply? If I write 7? Seven? 7. 
with 7 in B. So 7 into 7, I'll get 49. And 7 into 8, I'll get 56 plus 4. I will get 60. Uh, 7 into 1 will be 7. And then plus 6 will be 13. Now this is again a smaller number, right? So let's try to multiply with a bigger number. Let's try to multiply with a 9. So when I do 189 into 9, I'll get... I get a 1701. Okay? Is this much clear? Ma'am, ma since we are getting a reminder, why can't we make the number into a four-digit number? I can't understand your question as well. Ma'am, now we are only making it a three-digit number, right? Like adding, but why can't we make it a four-digit number, ma'am? No, you can. Why would you make it a four-digit? Like this, after 18, do you, want, do you wish to write two numbers? It's not like that. No, Aswan, that won't make sense. That's not how it works. You have a certain rule to solve the division method. You, you do not write two numbers together. Okay? You have certain yeah. rules and you have to follow them. Yes, ma'am. If you write two-digit number, that will be very chaotic. You won't get your answer. See, you'll have to write like one eight, one two. There can be several combinations. There can be infinite combinations. And then you'll get confused. So, it's not worth writing two digits number, just consider one. So, Amar, what will I write over here now? Nine? Is nine fine? Yes. And I'm multiplying 189 with nine only. So, just write nine over here and I'm getting 1701. So, subtract. What will you get? You will get 891. You will get 198 as the remainder. Now, Amar, the question was straight away that uh, which shall be my greatest four digit number uh, which is a perfect square also so 9999 9, 9, 9, no is not a perfect square but why is it not a perfect square because on uh, following the long division method i am getting a remainder with myself right yes yeah so if i'm getting a remainder see what is the root cause the problem lies in getting a remainder so if i do not get a remainder the number shall become a perfect square yes or no Yes, so what should I do to eliminate this remainder? Subtract. If I subtract the remainder from the entire number itself, I shall get my answer. So let's do 9999 minus 198. I'll get 9801. Okay? And 9801 will be a perfect square. Do you now understand it, Amar? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma doubts, you can again ask me. Any of you. Ma'am, so what if the question is like, find the smallest four-digit number that is a perfect square? Okay, very nice question. Asan, tell me, which is the smallest four-digit number? 1,000. 1,000. Uh, so we have 1,000. Okay, is 1,000 a perfect square? No, ma'am. Then what will I do? I will try to find the remainder. And then I'll uh, subtract the remainder from it. So same method? Yeah, same method only. Just subtract. Okay. Um, you can also follow the uh, prime factorization method for this. You will still get your answer. You wish to do prime factorization, you can use that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, now the next type of question. Okay, if the question is like, find the least number Can you do this question? Yes, ma'am. Okay, how? Now we have to like find the least number that must be our two. Okay, try it. Try the question yourselves, both of you. Amar, you also just try the question. Do 
to the long division method for 1300, what do you get? Now when we do the long division method, we want 300, the remainder is 3. Um, the remainder is not 3. Please check. Please check. Remainder is 4. Remainder, the remainder is 4. Very good. Remainder is 4. Amar, what is your remainder? Ma'am, I'm not understanding this again. Yes, I have uh, I've done the first step, but then I can't figure out the second step. Okay, just from here you have 1300. Just make the pairs, you mean 0 and 13, right? Um, now 13 is not a perfect square. Which number smaller than 13 is a perfect square? 9. So 3 into 3, you'll get 9. Subtract, what will you get? You'll get 4. Now just okay. double this number, you'll get 6. Now just carry 0 and 0, you get 0, 0. Just write one yeah. number over here, so that you'll get 400 on multiplying. Okay, so let's do 62 into 2. You get 124 is very small. Uh, let's do 66 into 6. Okay, you get 396, very close. So you can take 6, 396, your remainder will be 4. Okay. Do you understand it, Amar, or any doubts? Ma'am, now I will understand it in the next question you will give. In the second step, I will get stuck again. I'm sorry, Amar, I could not hear you. Now I understand this, but the next question you give me like this, uh, I'll uh, I'll get stuck in this second step again. Like okay. when you are adding this. Amar, see what you uh, what. This thing just requires practice. It's no problem. You missed the previous class and we just practice uh, such questions in the previous class. So that is why this concept is weak. But no problem. Please positively watch the recording of the previous session. Practice the questions. I've also posted an assignment based on the previous class. Please do that assignment. If you still have doubts, I'll still explain you on that. Okay, there is no problem. Do not worry. You will get it. Just practice. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now uh, see, you people, you have 4 as the remainder. But now the question is not to subtract the number, but the question says add a number, that what least number must be added. So what must be added? You cannot add 4 to 1306 and 1304 is still not a perfect square. You won't get your answer. Remainder cannot be added. If you will add four to the, if you will add the remainder, you will get double the remainder. You will get 8 as the remainder. The next time, remainder will only be subtracted. So in this type, what you can do is, um, see, the square of 36, the question is 36. So on squaring 36, you are getting a number which is smaller than 1300. And how do I know the number is smaller than 1300? Because uh, you are getting a remainder 4 with 1300. That means the number shall be smaller than 1300. 
the square of 36 shall be smaller than 1300. That is why I'm getting a remainder. Right? 4 will be left. That means, what is the square of 36? Let's just find out. 36 square. You have 1296. And see, 1296 is lesser than 1300 by 4. Do you now connect the dots, what I was trying to say? Yes, ma'am. Amma, you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. That means 36 square is less than 1300. So, let's just do 37 square. Okay. 37 square. What will be 37 square? You get 1369. Now 1369 is greater than 1300. So that means 36 square was lesser than 1300. But 37 square is greater than 1300. So what we can do is we can just subtract 1300 and the square of 37. Okay. So square of 37 is 1369 minus 1300. What you will get? 69. Yeah, you will get 69. Just give me a second. Okay. Uh, you will get 69. That means, uh, what will be the large? The question was, yeah. Find the least number that must be added. So, what must be added to 1300? 69. In order to make 1300 as 1369, you need to add 69 to 13. See, 1300. Plus 69 equals to what? It equals to 1369. And I know 1369 is a perfect square. It is the square of 37. I just can't fi find out. Okay. So my answer shall be 69. Okay. I'll just revise it with you guys. It's a pretty complex question. What we do is, if it is given to us that which number must be subtracted in the given number to make it a perfect square. Okay, this is one type of question and the other type of question is which number must be added to the given number in order to make it a perfect square. Okay, you can have two types of questions. How are you going to do the first type? Uh, in order to find the number which must be subtracted, you must just subtract, uh, the remainder shall only be your answer. Means whatever you, uh, the remainder you are getting on the long division method, that will be your answer. You have to subtract that number only. Okay. Do you understand this thing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. But if the question is, which number must be added to the given number? What you will do? If it is given added, so just see, just see at the question. Okay. Just see at the question. Your question over here is 36. So, um, just increase the question by a factor of 1. So, if it was 36, just consider 37. And now find out the square of 37. After finding, finding out the square of 37, just subtract this number. Just subtract the square with this number, with the number that was given to you. Okay? Yes, Do you now understand it? Ma'am. Yeah, you can practice a little bit, bit questions on this. Okay, I'll find if there are more questions related uh, to this type. We'll practice them more in our next class. Now, only one topic is left for this chapter, which is decimals. Okay, the square roots of decimal numbers. Fine. We'll continue in the next class. We'll study the square roots of decimals in the next class. And uh, I shall be taking a test of you both after finishing this chapter. So please keep revising till wherever I have taught you. Just one topic is left. We'll study that in the next class. And then I'll try to take a test in the next class only or uh, in the next to next class. So please prepare well for your test. Okay. okay. And one more thing. Amar, uh, I checked your assignments. I could not relate the answers to the questions. Whatever questions I have posted, um, the PDF that you've up, you've uploaded does not does not have the 
correct answers you have written something else in the pdf you haven't written the answers to the questions that i have posted ma'am i wrote what what the question told me i'm sorry i wrote what the question uh, was okay amar i will repost your answer sheets in the website only please check from there asfan yours also i'll try to apply upload by today night and you can check in the morning itself and please check your uh, mistakes both of you and then we'll discuss the assignments in the next class positively okay okay i was unable to check your assignments um but i've seen your assignments and i could just check them orally but now i'll just repost the assignments okay